Hi guys, hola hola hola, como esta mi gente? Oh my gosh, I was just enjoying some um, old school reggaeton coming down to the gym and um, if you don't know anything about reggaeton, it's like the I don't have a better way to put this, but it's kind of like the people like to call it the dirty style rap kind of music in the Latin community um, I didn't make this up that I heard many people say that before but you know coming from the Caribbean I can appreciate reggaeton and I love the old-school um, songs so this one was by Daddy Yankee and it's uh, a sickish um, yeah not sure it's very appropriate either but I like this song um, other than that guys it's a great effort to get this video going um, I look like a hot mess and that's okay <laughs> my smoothie okay so I came into the car with my smoothie and my husband always warned me he's like you're going to your car with this open cup why don't you put it in your bottle and I learned the hard way all my smoothie fell over in my car this morning so yeah I should have listened but I also had some wipes, so that was a good thing. I always have wipes in my car. Um, let this be a lesson here, guys. If you do not have wipes in your car, always have some wipes, because you never know when you are going to need it. So I used about eight of these this morning, eight wipes to clean up my mess. And what was really um, surprising, they didn't dry up throughout the entire summer. I had this since the end of last semester. Texas is like a furnace. It's really, really hot. It's like uh, 102 right now. And um, people always say, you know, you're from the Caribbean. Why are you complaining about this heat? This is a special kind of heat, okay? It's it's unbelievably hot here. Regardless, I'm going to head to the gym. Guys, I just decided to put on the camera and just see what happens, what footage I get. So this is kind of like a vlog. I don't know what, what kind of format this is going to be in. But I'll be sharing bits and pieces from my day with you and um, my my gym music for today the mood I'm in today is just like old-school reggaeton stuff um, yeah that surprises people a lot but um I think I share that with you it's at some point I am fluent in Spanish I really am I also speak French and um, from time to time every time almost every time I like listening to other stuff and some in that kind of mood this morning so other than that I'm gonna head to the gym get my upper body um, get my upper body session in and if I'm looking around <laughs> because I'm it's funny seeing people driving around looking for par uh, parking spots I was just really lucky to get here my gym is unbelievably packed today I can tell regardless um, I'm not gonna waste my time uh, just wanted to say hi to you say hi to you guys today and hope that all is well and that's it I missed you already and that's why I'm making this video okay bye bye
Hey guys, so I just got done with my workout session. Um, I hope the light is not too bad here. But I'm in my car, obviously. I'm headed home. I just got done with my session. I'm a little bit annoyed right now, and I think it's just best that I go home, eat, relax, and clear my mind. The little things really can ruin a session, especially when you're pumped and you just, you know, good and ready to go. Not that I cut my session short or anything like that, but here I was at the gym. Um, getting ready to go to do some um, decline uh, chest press and this guy approached me um, are you such and such did you go to West Texas such and such University something like that and I said no and that was it I continued about my business I'm always about my business two minutes later are you from France you have an accent you remind me of this girl who, who did track no, I'm not that girl, I assure you I'm not, and I am just here to work. So I apologize, but I need to kind of get going. I was trying to be really respectful because, you know, it is an older person. You know, not, not old age, but he is an older guy, not someone in their teens or 20s or anything like that. Five minutes later, is everything okay? Uh, can I make you smile? I'm like, what? I'm like, excuse me, I'm just here to get a session in. I'm not here to socialize. I'm sorry if that's offending or if you do not understand that. I'm just here to get work done. But why you gotta be like that? You're so harsh. Yada, yada. And the things, the list go, went on and on. I simply just got up from where I was and I went to another machine because that person was annoying. It was really, really annoying. Now, guys, boys, men, there is a difference in saying hi to someone or giving someone a compliment or something like that as opposed to trying to have a conversation in the middle of a workout I hear a lot of women say that there's a time and place for everything and trying to hold a conversation in the middle of a workout that's not appropriate if someone tells you if a woman tells you that she's not interested and she's just here to work out move right along because you would have probably already turned her off okay and I was highly annoyed Obviously, I mean, I told the guy, I'm not interested, I'm married, because he went on and on and on, and he just obviously did not respect that. And that really did upset me. So, I might leave my rant for a separate video, but I just kind of needed to get that off my chest. I'm going to go home and get something to eat and um, take a shower and just kind of figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. But I, I really just had to get that off my chest. I, it was beyond my... I just couldn't comprehend this. I just really couldn't comprehend this at all. Not smooth, not smooth. I have some leftovers. So, some potato salad. And some lentils. And I'm heating up some chicken, drumsticks. And then that wouldn't be enough, so I already seasoned up some drumsticks to bake or barbecue, not sure. And there's no more ice, so I'm gonna put something together and that will be my post workout meal. How you doing? You okay? Huh? Say hi. <laughs> Alright, guys, um, it took a while for me to just get everything measured, you know, I'm still working with my macros, of course, because I'm maintaining, but I'm gonna go ahead and saute some kale. I'll share a recipe with you another time, not right now, because I'm kind of hungry. I usually eat my kale raw. I really, really like my kale raw. But what I noticed, some of them, the leaves are already getting a little bit yellow, so I'll go ahead and saute a little bit of kale and just kind of go through that really quick with you and just add it to my plate. Can never go wrong with veggies. And let me just situate this camera. Here, just adding a little bit of olive oil to the frying pan. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. You know, kale cooks pretty quick. This is a very, very fast process. And what I'm gonna do is cut up some uh, cloves of garlic and get that in there. Because I like adding the, the garlic to the oil, so everything just kind of infuse the flavor, just infuse with the oil. Traditionally, I would let the oil heat up and then put the garlic, but I want the garlic to infuse with the oil. That just kind of gives it a really nice flavor, and I got this tip from somewhere online.
Okay, so the garlic is starting to brown. I'm gonna go ahead and add about, I have about half a bag left. So I'm gonna have, add half of that. And just kind of, it's going to sound like it's fine, but it's fine. Turn down your heat. And then I will go ahead and sprinkle some um, red pepper. Not a lot. Really awkward here trying to work with one hand, but go ahead and sprinkle some red pepper flakes. Not too much, because this is really going to add heat to the kale. And honestly, guys, it's just up to you. It's up to you and how you want your, um, your food to taste, you know? And salt, I'm gonna add sea salt. And you add that liberally. Um, again, that's just up to you and your taste. So what I wanna do is cover the pot, cover down the kale, and probably after literally a couple of minutes, go ahead and turn, toss it. All right, All right it's been a couple of minutes here. So I'm gonna use this little utensil to toss the kale. Make sure you get all of the leaves covered with oil. Toss it. Get this off. Okay. And when it's kind of, you know, you want it to wilt. Okay, so when it's to your liking. I like mine really, really. Soft. Soft as opposed to crunchy. So toss it. Continue tossing. And you see how it cooks down? It's kind of like spinach. When you cook spinach, how you need to put so much, all of it, in the um, the pan or in the pot, and then it seems as if when you know after you cook it, there isn't much because they easily cook down. So what I'm going to do here is just taste. I need a little bit more salt. Mm-hmm. And... Carrot spice, like fish spice. Did you guys know that? My country, Grenada, is actually known as the Isle of Spice because we have so many different spices, a variety of spices compared to the other islands. Each island has a little nickname. So where my husband is from, he's from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, if I remember clearly, <laughs> I think his island is the land of steel pan and calypso, or I hope so, I hope I got that right. If there's any Trinidadian out there looking and watching, <laughs> feel free to correct me. It's something I should know, but I can't remember. But anyways, Grenada, yes, my home country is the Isle of Spice, so hence the reason, carrot spice, you know, Caribbean spice. <laughs> and I kind of like how this looks. Everything seems good. Taste it one more time. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm a sucker for kale. And I'm just going to drop some of it in my plate. Look how beautiful, look how that adds to your plate. Add a little bit more. I am in the living room. I'm not gonna go to the dining table. My husband is not here. He stepped out for a bit, so um, I'm just gonna relax here, have my meal. And I'm gonna grab the remote and go watch something. And then I need to give Primo a bath because he needs a bath. All right, see ya. Time to go get a shower. Time to get a bath. Time to get a bath, baby. Time to get a bath, yeah. How you doing, boy? <laughs>
Look at that big paw. Hmm? Look at that paw, guys. Big paw. <laughs> you little bear. Yes, you are. You are. You bear trapped in a doggy's body. Yes, you are. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> Got him, boy. So this is usually the ritual during summer. During winter time, I'll take my time and dry him off, but it's so hot. He'll be dried off in less than no time with this heat outside. Primo. Hey, buddy. Alright, so when you would have given your dog a bath, the next best thing to do is to go take a shower. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then later on, I'll probably just, I don't know, check out a couple of stores. Guys, I have work to do. I have a lot of teacher planning to do. It's Monday, and I am supposed to report to work this Thursday. Yep, teachers go back to work this Thursday. And then we have Thursday, Friday of this week, and then all of next week for... Um, staff development that's what teachers have to do every time they come from a vacation and then the kids come in the week after so I don't want you to think I'm just kind of being lazy today I just really want to just relax and um, attack my work later on so I'm gonna get take a shower and uh, doo -doo -doo, we'll see what happens later on there's my husband leaving <laughs> I stopped at uh, Sephora I wasn't really looking for anything in particular but I did pick up an eyeshadow primer because I've been using Smashbox for a while and then I learned that Smashbox is not cruelty free so I picked up a primer eyeshadow primer from uh, Too Faced I have used their products before they're definitely cruelty free if you're new to my channel you'll know that 
um, for anything that I purchase with regards to cosmetics or skincare, I really try to go for cruelty free as much as possible. So this one is by Too Faced. It's the Shadow Insurance. I've never used this. Okay, I have used Smashbox and I swear by Smashbox, but I am going to try to stick to my guns here and stick to my word and really try to use cruelty free products. And I know Too Faced is definitely cruelty free. So we'll see how this goes. And um, the only other thing that I really picked up was a pair of work shoes. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I took the box, but um, they're really pretty shoes, actually. Very appropriate for the classroom. You see the heel is not too thin. It's about two inches, so it gives me a little bit of height. And um, it's a very strong pair of shoes. I can tell the build quality is just very... Um, it's solid and um, this is definitely a, a good choice for late summer early fall and then of course for fall my fashion is gonna change again for the job so I have this new pair and then I have to go through I'm still sorting out my closet uh, some of my clothes no longer fit me <laughs> so I'm still in the process of sorting out and um, that means I also need to sort out my shoes because with all of the calf raises that I've been doing my feet got a little bit wider, okay? I know that sounds weird, but that is what happens when you do calf raises the way I do. So, I'm going to go play with my dog a little bit, probably for five minutes. Then I'm going to let him come inside and keep me company because uh, I'm home alone right now. That is why I went out to begin with. I just wanted to kind of be outside and enjoy the sun a little bit like, and just kind of relax. And I also need to get to my work, my professional work. Um... So yeah, let me go do that before the sun goes down and I do not get a chance to do that. Why you got so many hot spots? You okay? You okay? Huh? You alright? You alright? <laughs> yeah? You alright? Look at you. You big boy. You big boy. Yes, you are. Don't do that for YouTube. YouTube doesn't want to see that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh. Come on. You had fun? Huh? You had fun? Alright guys, so I'm definitely um, going to sign out now. Have a wonderful night. I know I had nothing much going on today, but um, I'm just here. There's Primo over there. I am going over some paperwork. I am working on my calendar. See how big this thing is? And I'm basically, you know, I've, I'm through with one semester of... Just an outline of one semester, so... Tomorrow, I'm going to spend the rest of the time just working on my outline for semester two because I'm supposed to submit my entire year of, um, well, my year's work, my plan for the year. Not necessarily a lesson plan, but um, the yearly plan, the outline. And then from there, I can work on the syllabus. So, I've been working on it. Uh, this year, I'm going to be teaching... Um, AP chemistry and you know that's the equivalent of first year college chemistry and um, honors or pre AP chemistry so I have two preps uh, not too bad I'm, I'm good once it's chemistry <laughs> that's my passion and um, so I'm gonna try to multitask put a movie on just so I don't fall asleep here work on um, looking over the college board information online and just kind of refine my first semester I have I mean let me sh I have you know this is so this is kind of you know detailed to the point where I have on here quizzes every Wednesday so if you're my incoming student you know you have a quiz every Wednesday um, it just kind of gives me an idea of what I'm doing each day that is what this is it's a calendar and it's a day-by-day -day plan, but it's for the year. So it's a lot of work, <laughs> but 
Um, such is the life of a teacher, not complaining, just really love what I do. And I'm signing out, I appreciate you guys looking on, and leave me a comment, alright? Let me know what you guys think. And if you know someone out there who needs motivation, guys, send them to my channel. Let's build a community here. Thank you for 2,000 subs. Um, and also follow me on Instagram, at the Carp Spice. And, um, yeah, bye-bye. Good night. There's Primo keeping me company. <laughs> and Chidi over there is on edge. They do not get along. Bye.